Hey guys, back here at Scientist here. And today we have a pool full of 25 million Orbeez. And wait, hold on, I think I got something. Oh my gosh, it's Mark Rover. What are we doing today? Eight experiments in a pool full of Orbeez. Yes, let's get started. So inside of each one of these bags is 50 pounds of these. And we just poured about, I don't know, 20 or so in here. Mark's still pouring more in here. We're gonna see how much this fills up the pool. And then if we need to add more, we're gonna add more because we don't want this we don't want to wake up in the morning and find the whole deck covered in water balls. I don't know how I'm going to get these out of the pool. So for the past six months, Mark Rober and I have been planning to fill this pool with 25 million water balls. So naturally, the first thing that we're going to do is blow them all back out. So we're going to go back to the old crowd favorite on filling a water bottle with dry ice. And when that bottle ruptures underwater from the pressure, it's going to send these water balls everywhere. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> that was fast. Oh yeah, it definitely went off a lot faster than I was thinking it would, but thankfully, I guess it wasn't as big as I thought it would be then too. At least it went better than the firework test. All right, so for our next firework test, I'm gonna drop the firework into this tube so it goes down deep below the beads, and then we'll see what happens. Crap! <laughs> uh, so it turns out fireworks float. So the plan was to deposit the firework underwater and then pull the stick up, but unfortunately the firework fuse got caught to the stick and this happened which is pretty cool. All right, now it's time for sports. Can we play sports in a pool full of water balls? So first up is the tennis racket, and I'm curious if the balls will go right through the racket when I hit it, or if they'll bounce off. What do you think? Uh, I definitely think they'll go through. I th think they'll get turned into like gel yeah. french fries. <laughs> Especially with the heat I send you. Oh yeah, bring it on. Oh, he failed the bat! <laughs> Charge the ball! Charge the <laughs> Started, I'm trying to start a bench clearing brawl. <laughs> right as I was pitching, I realized, wait a second, I'm about to get hit with a bunch of water balls. So it didn't get quite turned into jello french fries like I thought it would, but it turned out pretty cool anyway. Let's try something a little bit more forceful next. We have the golf club. Are you ready, Mark? Ready. Here we go. Four. <sighs> that was a nice hit. I did have to. I feel like George Washington. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Now it's Mark's <laughs> turn. He's going to try to hit six giant water balls in a row. I'm actually wondering if there will be like momentum transfer in between to like push the front ones out of the way or they're so or not they're rigid. Smash, 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 smash. Yeah, because it's too fast and they're not rigid enough. Let's find out. I guess we'll see. Four. Nice. <laughs> that was so good. That was a perfect hit. Just to humor me, we have the camera all set up. After that saves up, we can move, let's move this four out of the way. I'm just gonna take a chunk through all of them. <laughs> that was crazy. That was cool. It went like, I could see some of it even went through the screen. Interesting to see what happened. It kind of felt like it just stopped me. Did you connect with one? I hit one, but I think I swung high. Okay. 
For our next experiment, we're gonna load up this subwoofer box with water beads and record in slow motion. Let's try it. Give me the boots. That sounds cool. Yeah. Could even go with a little bit more. That's a problem. Just do the box. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for dramatic effect. So do you think there's a specific frequency that will make these bounce the most? Um, no. All right, we'll start at 100 and we'll start at 100 and go down from there. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. We got the best response at about 18 hertz, and I think that's just because the speakers can move in and out all the way. All right, for our next experiment, we're gonna pour molten aluminum into the pool of water balls and see if we can get a cool casting out of it. All right, this is 10 pounds. The metal cools to the touch in about two minutes, and then I use some handles to pull it up out of the water. It's way heavier with all those water balls still on there, but I just tie it to a tree and blast it with a hose to remove all of that stuff. And after about 10 minutes of doing this, I have an awesome looking casting. All in all, I made three of them, and each one came out better than the last. All right guys, so we did a bunch of really cool experiments with all these water balls in my pool, but we never showed you what it's like to actually jump in and swim around in these and what that's like, because we have an experiment on Mark's channel. Yeah, fundamentally, if you jump in, how far will you sink? Will it go to your knees or above your head? The answer will surprise you. <laughs> so you better go check out the video on his channel. See you next time, bye. I'd like to give a shout out to Nathan at aimedresearch.com for letting me use the high-speed camera in this video. He rents that camera and other cameras on his website, so go check it out. Alright, now it's time for the final experiment, and I'm sure a bunch of you guys are wondering how the heck I'm going to get rid of a pool full of water balls, but the answer may surprise you. See, they're not hard to dispose of, I can just pump them into a dump truck and have them go to the dump and get rid of them. The problem is the dump charges $57 per ton of material. And if this pool is 10,000 gallons, it means it's 80,000 pounds or 40 tons of material. So that's gonna be very expensive to dispose of these. So I need to figure out a way where I can get these things to lose their water because that's why they're so heavy. I discovered that these things shrink by 75% if you put them into salt water. So I went to Home Depot and I got 1,000 pounds of salt for only $100. And I added 500 pounds to the pool and let it sit for a couple days. And then I sucked out the water from the pool and the level was only half of what it was. I added 500 more pounds to the pool and this is what it looks like right now. It's only about a third of the level it was. So by adding $100 of salt to the pool, I'm only gonna pay a third of the cost of the dump and that's a huge savings. Safe and sound. <laughs>